would then add matte bronzer on top of this. So bronzers you can layer on top of each other. So I'm gonna take a small brush like this. I don't want it to spread out too much. And the brush is kind of dense, but it's not too fluffy and it's not too big. And I'm gonna go into this uh, Milani Sunset Duo. I'm gonna just use the bronzer side of it. And this is a matte bronzer. And I'm just going and over very lightly pressing the brush, just patting it on the areas where I bronzed. There. Now the bronzer has become a little more intense and you can see it. And then because you set the cream with the powder, it's going to last longer too. Now just to make sure that there are no harsh lines, I'm going in with the mineral powder that is closer to my skin tone. So this is the light medium and the Fit Me uh, loose finishing powder. And I'm just going along the edges of that bronzer. I'm not gonna go really over it because I didn't put too much to, di to dilute it. You only would go over it if you have added a bit too much so that you can kind of tone it down. But this is just enough, this is just fine. And then you can go ahead and put your blush right here and then the highlighter can go, or, or you can put the highlighter and then the blush, just depending on the formula, which I will show you. Now, with this, you can build it up into a shimmer, shimmer bronzer. Now let's go add a little bit of dimension with this shimmer bronzer. So I'm going in with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, and I can go in with a fan brush for this, because I don't want it to be too intense. And I'm just going like to use this like a highlighter. So I'm just going above and just up here. So think of it like a highlighter, but in a bronzer format. 